Chinese herbal medicine is extremely effective at treating gout. At least that's what the scientific studies show. So there's more than a hundred random control trials where they have the double blind placebo control and they all demonstrate that Chinese herbal medicine is effective. Now, just as good as Western medicine, in some cases, even better. So the first we go back here, Chinese herbal medicine, this is where they grabbed the studies and they were just all the different types of Chinese herbal medicine. In 2013, random controlled trials, 19 of them. And they found that a decreased gout, decreased uric acid, decreased inflammation, in their own words, had the same outcomes as the Western medicine and fewer side reactions, in their own words, of the study. Another one, Chinese herbal medicine again, in 2014, 17 studies, random controlled trials, high quality studies, and they decreased gout, decreased uric acid, decreased inflammation, had similar clinical outcomes as Western medicine, in their own words, and decreased adverse events. Wow, do you mean to say this is showing up in the science? Now the thing is, on this one, just like the other one up above, is that it was literally a different Chinese herbal medicine. So now we go down to 2017, and there's one called Simeo. Now, please excuse my pronunciation. I really don't know. I've only read the journals. I haven't uh, heard how to pronounce it. In 2017, there were 24 studies. In fact, there were 70 or so that they had, and they got them, cleared out all the ones that didn't have the right background, and they condensed it down to 24 high quality studies. And they showed that yes, it decreased gout, decreased uric acid, decreased inflammation, and decreased adverse events compared to Western medicine. So it was, a, again, a win-win situation. Now you have to bear in mind that um, a lot of people have these negative feelings towards anything that's not Western medicine. That's fine, but remember, these are published in peer-reviewed scientific journals. And also bear in mind that there's over 2,000 years of history behind these. And also bear in mind that there are hundreds and hundreds of other studies showing the various mechanisms by which these herbal concoctions, the Chinese herbal um, medicine, actually work. So we've got so much research behind it. And then finally, we've got this other one here. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, okay? Uh, GSZD is its... Uh, is its abbreviated name, and, and you're gonna say, well, where do I get this? Well, you actually have to get it from a Chinese herbal medicine person, um, which is logical and sensible. But again, I will highlight the results are all extremely positive there. And I know a lot of people have contacted me to say, hey, can you put something together on this topic? Because they're reacting to the Western medicine. Now on that topic, please, Make sure you subscribe below because I want to put out more, more and more of this information to people. And also click the like button and share with your friends out there. So GSZD in 2020, they kind of brought together 13 of the best quality studies. And again, no surprise, it decreased gout, decreased uric acid, decreased inflammation, and decrease in adverse events compared to Western medicine. Why these herbs are so effective comes down to a really simple phenomena. One, there are four herbs mixed in there, and in those four herbs, there's more than 100 different compounds. Just using one case study of Simeo, again, my pronunciation there, using that case study, we've got 100 phytonutrients, plant-based nutrients that are in the body doing really good work. And so they work primarily, first of all, through nutrition. So they're providing nutrients to the body to be able to um, enhance the body for it to be able to work properly. And secondly, via the gut. And in the gut, these phytonutrients work as phytobiotics. They are the food to feed the probiotics so that the probiotics in the gut, the what's called your commensal microorganisms, can actually do more positive things around the body. And what you may not be aware is that your gut microbiome produces or doesn't produce uric acid. And so the right type of gut microbiome decreases uric acid production from the food that you're eating, and therefore you're getting less taken into your body. Or if you've got what's called dysbiosis, an imbalance of the microbiome, it increases the level of uric acid and therefore the amount going into the body. So we've got both sides. And what a healthy gut is, 
is increased biodiversity. So a greater mix and number, a variety of these various microorganisms, the bacteria, the fungi, the viruses, the archaea, and so on. So it's gonna have that. Now, the great thing about this is that then when it goes into the body, it has these multiple effects around the body. Unlike drugs, which will often pinpoint one narrow area, the herbs have these multi-pronged approach to it. And I'll give you one example. Um, we all know that uric acid, hyperuricemia, is the contributing factor in gout, so too much uric acid. And the herbs, the combination of herbs, work in multiple ways via the gut, the liver and the kidneys to actually stop that buildup of uric acid. I'll go through it and show you here. First of all, when you've got the right balance of the microbiome and the nutrients going in via the microbiome, it decreases uptake. So decreased production, decreased uptake via the gut. There's decreased internal production because you're affecting something called um, xanthine oxidase enzyme, which produces the uric acid. And so it's stopping slowing that down, as well as other mechanisms in there as well. And that's via the liver. It's increasing the breakdown, which is occurring in the liver at the same time too. So it's uh, the uric acid that is there, it's converting into a form that can then be eliminated via the kidneys and the gut. So those three organs, the gut, the kidney and the liver, are critical for regulating the amount. And these herbs work on all of those three areas. Now, in addition to that, Oh, by the way, um, when it comes to something like uh, most of the drugs that they use for gout, they will work on one area. They'll pinpoint one little area, for example, xanthine oxidase in the liver to reduce uric acid production without looking at any of the other area. Now, what these herbs also do is they decrease oxidation and oxidation is the damage that's done. And that leads to an increase in inflammation, or in this case, a decrease in inflammation. Inflammation is the redness, the soreness, the chronic um, inflammation which contributes to heart attack, metabolic syndrome, all those major diseases out there. So it lowers them as well via the immune system and it decreases acidosis. And of course, uric acid, acidosis. So it's working on, you know, again, another different layers at the same time simultaneously to have a synergistic benefit. And then finally, what it does, that increases the repair and recovery so it's not just stopping uric acid, but because it's got all these processes going on at the same time, it's improving the repair. It's giving the nutrients the body needs to repair itself, decreases the pain. And one of the mechanisms that does that, they found by blocking the peripheral nervous system. Now, this is all in the scientific studies. Unfortunately, a lot of people think, poo, poo, you know, it's Chinese medicine, it hasn't been studied. Sorry, there are ample, ample, there are dozens of studies and there are hundreds of mechanistic studies showing how it all now fits together and works like this. Now, the great thing about this also is that when, um, when you look up Simeo in the studies, it shows you that one, it also decreases the risk and severity of metabolic syndrome, reverses it, diabetes, osteoarthritis, and kidney disease, to name the four top ones that took me five minutes to find in, in the search. But there are dozens of other benefits they have because of the combination of herbs. Now, the other real added benefit of these, or this herb here, is that it's low toxicity and low adverse events compared to any of the pharmaceuticals. So the side effects of it are absolutely minimal, and it has all these positive benefits. So if you've liked this, please subscribe below, share it with your friends, because there is ample evidence to show that Chinese herbal medicine works effectively, extremely effectively with gout and other conditions. Check it out.